Hey guys, Luigi back here again for another fighting game weekly. First of all, I want to apologize for not posting anything last week due to I had to work a lot. And not only that, I get distracted easily on Comic Con. So, uh, before we get started, uh, I just wanted to know what you guys thought about the games that are coming out for Comic Con, especially the fighting games. Um, I very look much forward to Street Fighter X Taken. It looks more badass every time I see it. So. Not only that, they also made a new uh, Mars Capcom 3 Ultimate, I think. And it looks good. I mean, they brought Strider back, so let's see who else they might bring back too. And, well, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on the fighting games are coming out. It doesn't have to be these two. It could be any other fighting game that they might have showed at uh, Comic-Con. But let me know, guys. And let's get on started with uh, this week's uh, Episode 5 of Fighting Game Weekly. Okay guys, this week's fighting game of the week is none other than Mortal Kombat, the first Mortal Kombat. And my thoughts about this game, it's a really awesome game. There was a time when I played Street Fighter a lot and then I found out what Mortal Kombat was and I couldn't get enough of it. I mean, yeah, it was uh, something new for me and it was a lot more violent and stuff and that's what, you know, we like as kids, you see all the violence and stuff. but. Um, about Mortal Kombat, it's just, uh, to me it's like a, any other fighting game when it first started out. It has great cast of characters, it's really cool moveset, it's, it's actually a lot easier than Street Fighter because most of the special moves you just go forward, forward, whatever button, and as for Street Fighter stuff, it's just like quarter circle or full circle. But Mortal Kombat is like a much more easier game to play with and... It's uh, pretty cool. It has, I don't know, just the roster is a little cool. Not a lot of characters because, you know, like in all, all the games, the first game never has that many characters. But um, I really did enjoy and play this when I was a kid, especially in the arcades where you play with your friends and stuff. And if you knew how to make a fatality back then, you're considered a badass. But yeah, this game is pretty awesome. The graphics were a little different too. Mostly because the characters look almost real, like if they were recorded and then just put in the game. But it sometimes means see a little weird, but when you first see this, it's like freaking awesome. And I don't know what else to say about this game, guys. I really don't own this game. I'm only making this little video because I download some videos from the YouTube and stuff. But I really wish I had this game, though. And um, hopefully I'll find it soon, but... If you guys have this game, just keep it because uh, I had mine and I sold it and I really regret it now. Because every once in a while I want to go back and play some retro games and now I can't. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this game and, you know, this whatever memories you guys have about this game. Because uh, I think it's a pretty good game that started out the Mortal Kombat series. So um, this is Fighting Game of the Week and let's move on to part 2 of the segment. Okay guys, this week's fighter of the week will have to be Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. And the reason I chose Scorpion is because he's the most recognizable character in all of Mortal Kombat history. And, well, he's, I believe he's now the main character in all, most of the Mortal Kombat games. I know they made Luke Kang the main character the first few games that ever came out, but then later on I believe they made Scorpion the main character he was a fan favorite. And he's much more badass than Luke Kang, of course. Not only that, he's a ninja, and ninjas are, you know, like the most badass people you could ever think about. And I guess what really made him a part of the other ninjas is that he's a ninja from hell, which means that he just comes back for revenge and just fights brutally. And I don't know, his moves are pretty awesome, and especially the chain where he says, "Come over here, come on, guys." Who hasn't heard that man? That's that's nothing but epicness coming from Scorpion himself. So I think he deserves to be for this week's Fire of the Week. If you guys agree, don't agree, let me know down below. And we will now move to part 3 of the segment. Okay 
Okay, guys, now before we do the Who's the Best Fighter this week, I would like to go back to a couple of weeks where I did the Who's the Best Fighter face off, and it was uh, Cage from Virtual Fighter versus Raiden from Taken, and for some reason, again, it's a tie. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, had two votes for Raven and two votes for Cage, so uh, I'll call this one a tie, and I'll, I'll update this later on in future episodes and see who's been winning. If you guys don't vote or haven't vote, just go back and vote. If you don't want to vote, that's fine. But yeah, the, this is going to be a tie for now, and now let's move on to this week's uh, face-off. Okay, guys, this week's uh, Who's the Best Fighter is going to be a special. And it's a tag team match, and it's going to be Juni and Julie from Street Fighter. They ba they only came out in one game, Street Fighter Alpha 3, but I would always wonder what it would be if they fought uh, Vice and Mature from the King of Fighters. And they are also pretty cool. I would rather like Vice and Mature more because I, I use them more in the KOF games. And as for Julie and Julie, they're really awesome too, but the only thing is you can only play with them in Street Fighter Alpha 3. And they, um,. Well, they're almost as similar to Kami, but they're a little different, though. But they're, both of them are much more loyal to M. Bison than Kami is. As for Bison Mature, they're very loyal to Rugal. So, um, not only that, I think there's a story about them when when they team up with Iori too. So, I don't know. Those two are very weird too, but um, they have almost similar fighting styles. But my favorite would have to be Bison Mature due to that. They are in mo mo mostly more games than Juni and Julie, so I think you they have more an advantage than Juni and Julie. But um, I want you guys to let me know who will win from this tag team match, and you know who's your favorite or anything. Also, let me know if you like this tag team thing. That way, I can come out with more ideas for it in the future. But um, yeah, guys, this was a uh, Fighting Game Weekly episode five, and. Again, apologize for not put, posting anything last week. It's just that I had to work a lot and Comic-Con stuff going on too. So, <laughs> all right, guys. See you guys next week. And like I said, just comment on anything down below. And see you next week. Yeah.